Hi everyone, my name is Miss Janie and I'm so excited to be teaching another math lesson with you guys today. Alrighty, before we get started, let's go ahead and center ourselves. And the best way to do that is to do some deep breathing. So let's go ahead and close our eyes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Alrighty, friends. Now, before we might get started, I want us to make sure that we focus our attention. And the best way to do that is to make sure that our ears are listening, our eyes are watching, our voice is quiet, and our, body is, our bodies are still. Give me two thumbs up if you're ready to rock and roll. Alrighty, friends. So I hope you guys um, love last week's, all of last week's lessons. Um, we are moving into something totally different. And I'm so, so, so excited because um, it's really quick and it's really easy. Um, and I hope you guys are excited as just as I am. Now, before we get started, I do want to do a couple of fluencies. The first fluencies, I'm going to show you some configurations and I want you to count and then I want you to tell me how many are in those configurations alrighty first one you have about 10 seconds to count write down the number 10 seconds to count write the number you have five four three two one how many 11 how many are there 11. So 11 looks like this. How many are there? 11. How many are there? 11. Great job. Next one. Yeah, 10 more seconds. How many are there? 12. How many are there? 12. 12 looks like this. 12 looks like this. Great job, friends. Alrighty, I just want you guys to briefly be able to identify configurations of team numbers. And when I say configurations, I mean pictorial models or like pictures. Alrighty, like representations. Next one. You have 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. We have five, four, three, two, one. How many are there? 17. How many are there? 17, guys. Don't forget a faster way to count. Rather than counting by ones, you can count by fives. So five up top, five on the bottom, that's 10. Five over here, that's 15, 16, 17. How many are there? 17. 17 looks like this. 17 looks exactly like that. Great job, guys. And then last one. Count it, count it, count it. This one's a little bit trickier. Count it, count it, count it, count it, count it. You yeah, have 10 more seconds left to count. About five, four, three, two, one. How many circles do you see? 13. How many circles do you see? 13. Great job. 13 looks like this. Great job. For 13, how many ones do you how many tens do you have? You have one ten. How many ones do you have? You have three uh, three ones. How many tens do you have? One ten. How many ones do you have? You have three ones. So one, ten, three ones makes 13. Alrighty, friends, we are going to move on into our next fluency. Now, with this fluency, I want, I'm going to show you guys a number, and then I want you to be able to tell me how many tens, how many ones. Get ready. What's the number? 16. What's the number? 16. How many tens are there? There's one ten. Great job. How many ones are there? There's six ones. My turn. Ten, six. Your turn. Ten, six. Great job. Next number. It's exactly like that, friends. Next number. What's the number? Thirteen. What's the number? Thirteen. How many tens? There's one ten. How many ones? There's three ones. My turn. Ten, three. Your turn. Ten, three. Great job. Next number. 
What's this number? 18. What's this number? 18. How many tens are there? There's one ten. How many ones are there? There's eight ones. How many one? How many tens are there? There's one ten. How many ones? There's eight ones. My turn. Ten eight. Your turn. Ten eight. Great job. And then last one. Uh oh. What's this number? 16. What's the number? 16. Great job. How many tens are in this number? One ten. Great job. How many ones are in this number? Six ones. Great job. I'll try it again. How many tens are in this number? One ten. How many ones are in this number? There's six ones. Right? Sixteen makes one ten six ones. My turn. Ten six. Your turn. Ten six. Great job, friends. Alrighty. And I think we started off with that one. Um, so you guys got to do that one again. Alrighty, we're going to move quickly into our application problem. Um, so put your hands behind your ears and get ready. Make sure that you're focusing your attention, your ears are listening, and your eyes are watching. My turn. Mr. Perry is decorating donuts. He puts 14 little dots of chocolate in rows. Show him how to put the 14 dots in a circle. So how many little dots does Mr. Perry have? 14. How many little dots does he have? 14. Great job. Listen to my story again. Mr. Perry is decorating donuts. He puts 14 little dots in rows. He puts 14 little dots of chocolate in rows. Let me say that again. Mr. Perry is decorating donuts. He puts 14 little dots of chocolate in rows. Your job is to show him how to put those 14 dots in a circle on his donut. Alrighty, you're going to put the 14 dots in a circle on his donut. I also want you to show with a number bond. So you have one minute, 14 dots, circle, number bond as 10 ones and four ones. Go. My timer is starting. Great job, friends. You have one minute. Great job to friends who are writing their circle or writing their dots in a circular model for me. Great job to friends who are going back and counting those 14 dots. Great job to friends who have their number bonds represented as 10 ones and 4 ones. Great job. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You have about 20 seconds left. Great job, keep it up. Make sure it is neat. If you want to label, that is fine. You have about 10 seconds left. Great job, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Great job. Make sure you have 14 dots. That is my timer. Alrighty, if I went a little bit too fast, please make sure that you pause this um, just so your scholar can be their best self. This is actually before I show you, I want to see yours. Alrighty, put your models up. Ooh, I like how you did the 14 dots. Great job. They're very neat. Some are not big. Some are not little. Great job. Great job, great job, great job. I, I like your number bond. Great job. Okay. This is what mine looks like. So I have Mr. P for Mr. Perry. And then I have my 14 dots on my circle. And then I have my 10 ones and my 4 ones represented as 14. Alrighty, so don't forget that Mr. Perry put 14 little dots, uh, little dots of chocolate um, in rows, okay? And he wanted us to put them in a circle on the donut. So if you did this, you are absolutely correct. Great job, friends. A push um, is for after this, for you guys to actually put the 14 dots in the rows, okay? So similar to a 10 frame way. That's exactly how I want it to be done. Alrighty, if, when you do that, please send a picture to your teacher so we can know that you did this lesson. 
Alrighty, friends, now we are going to move on to the meat or the concept development of this lesson, which I'm so, so, so excited about because it is very different. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to count these 10 dots. Count these dots. Uh-oh, count these dots. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many dots are there? 10. How many dots are there? 10. Great job. How did you know that there were 10 dots? How did you know that there were 10 dots? I'm going to give you guys five seconds to think about it. How did you know that there were 10 dots? Hmm. Oh, I heard someone say I knew it was 10 dots because it was five on top and five on the bottom. Wow, you're a genius. I'm going to repeat that again. I heard someone say that there's five circles on top and five circles on the bottom, which makes 10. That's a great way for you guys to count by tens, which is exactly what we're going to be doing today, right? So if you know that there's five up top and five on the bottom, that automatically gives you 10. Alrighty, friends? So we're going to count the rest of our circles. Now, should we count by ones or should we count by tens? We should count by tens because it is faster. Great job, friends. So you should know that if you have five up top and five on the bottom, you automatically have 10 dots. Great job, friends. I want you to remember that when you count by tens, it's faster than counting by ones. So this is 10. How many tens do you have? One 10. Great job. Count this one. 5, 10, 15, 20. Great job. You can see your 10 frame right here, 10 frame right here. So how many 10s do you have right here? 1, 10. How many 10s do you have right here? 2, 10s. Great job. 10, 10 is 20. So right here you have 20. If you want to do it the, five, the count by 5 way, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. So how many dots right here? 20. Great job. So how many tens do you have? You have two tens. That's tricky, but you have two tens. So you have one group of tens right here, and then you have one group of tens right here. So one ten is right here. Another ten is right here. How many tens do you have? You have two tens. Great job. Let's move on. All right. With this one. All right. 10, 20, 30. Great job. Five up top, five on the bottom. So that rem reminds you that you have 10 dots, okay? So 10, 20, 30. You have three different 10 frames. So one 10, two 10, three tens. How many tens do you have? You have three tens. How many tens do you have? You have three tens. Three tens is the same as 30. Great job. Three tens is the same as 30. Two tens is the same as what? 20. Great job. 110 is the same as what? 10. Great job. So 110 is 10. 210 is 20. 310 is 30. Great job. How many tens do you have right here? Four tens. Great job. So you have one group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10, four groups of 10. Great job. So how many tens do you have? You have four tens. Four tens is the same as what? 40. Four tens is the same as what? 40. Great job. Let's move on. Right. How, uh oh. Trying to, trying to do this quickly. Ha ha ha. Alrighty. How many tens do you have? 1 10, 2 10, 3 10, 4 10, 5 tens. 5 tens is the same as what? 50. Count it the regular way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's do it again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Great job. 50 is the same as what? 5 tens. 50 is the same as what? 5 tens. Great job. How many tens do you have right here? 5 tens. 5 tens is the same as what? 50. Great job. Next one. How many tens do you have right here? Let's count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many tens do you have right there? Six tens. How many six how many tens do you have right here? Six tens. Six tens is the same as what? Sixty. Six tens is the same as what? Sixty. Great job. How many tens do I have right here? Six. How many tens do I have right here? Six. Great job, friends. Let's move it on. All right, let's count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50, 60, 70. Great job. How many dots do you have right here? 70. How many tens do you have? Seven tens. Look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. How many tens do you have? You have seven tens. Remember? Because that means that you have seven groups of ten. So one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups. Seven groups is the same as 70. 70 is the same as seven tens. Alrighty, friends. Great job. Let's move on. Alrighty. Now let's count this one. 1 or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. How many tens do you have? You have 8 tens. How many tens do you have? You have 8 tens. Alrighty, we're going to say it the regular way. 80. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Alrighty, remember we're counting by tens. 80 is the same as 8 tens. 8 tens means that you have 8 groups of 10. So one group, two group, three, three group, four group, five group, six group, seven group, eight group, all right? So you have eight groups of 10. Eight groups of 10 is 80, all righty, friends? 80 is the same as eight tens, all righty? Let's move on. All right, so now let's count it. Ready, set, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 is the group as nine tens. Nine tens means that you have nine groups of 10. All right, you have nine groups of 10. So one group, two group, three group, four group, five groups, six groups, seven groups, eight groups, nine groups. Nine groups of 10 means that you have 90 dots all together. So in all of this, you have 90 dots and they're grouped by tens, right? So that means that you have nine groups of 10. Nine groups of 10 is the same as nine tens, all right? And then let's do our last one. All righty, let's count it. Ready, set, go. 10, 20, 30, 40. Uh-oh, that's the wrong one. I'm very sorry. Here is the right one. Sorry. Uh -huh. Here it is. Let's count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's count it again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 means that you have how many tens? You have 10 tens. 100 means you have how many tens? 10 tens. 10 tens is the same as um, 10 tens is the same as 100 circles. 100 circles means that you have 10 groups of 10. You have 10 groups of 10. Alrighty, so you have one group, two group, three group, four group, five group, six groups, seven groups, eight groups, nine groups, ten groups. So you have ten groups of ten, which means that you have 100 Q or 100 circles. 100 circles is the same as 10, um, 100 ones. Alrighty, friends. If I were you guys, I would, um, I think it would be really cool if you guys kind of did what Miss Cheney did and you guys like counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And when you did it, you drew your groups, right? So this would help you remember that like, oh, um, if I have 30, 30 means that I have three groups of 10. So now before we finish our session, um, I want us to count the regular counting by tens way and then we're going to count the say 10 way. So 10, 20. One hundred. Great job. Let's do that one again. Go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job. Now let's say the 10, the count to say 10 way. Alrighty, let me get my cards for ready. Alrighty, so 1, 10. Good job. 2, 10s. Great job. 3, 10s. Great job. Four tens, great job. 
Four tens is the same as what? 40. Four tens is the same as what? 40. Great job. Four tens. Then we have... Uh-oh. We have five tens. Great job. Six tens. Seven tens. Great job. We have eight tens. Great job. We have nine tens. Nine tens is the same as what? Ninety. Nine tens is the same as what? Ninety. So nine tens. Then we have ten tens. How many tens do we have right here? Ten tens. Again, friends, I think it would be a really great job for you guys. It's, it's a lot of circles, um, but it's really great practice for you guys to say 10 and then draw your 10 circles. 20, draw your 20 circles. But when you do this, you have to draw them in the 10 frame way. Okay, I don't want circles everywhere. I want them neat. Again, um, please make sure that you're drawing the circles in a 10 frame way. So then it makes it easier to say, oh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And to be like, oh, 100 means that I have 10 tens. 60 means that I have six tens. All right. I want you guys to become very fluent in that. All righty, friends. I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday. Temperatures really dropped. Um, it's so cold outside, which is why Miss Cheney is sniffling. Um, but please get on Zern. Get on reading eggs we are looking look at this video um do your module packet send us pictures um and that's all that i have oh and i hope that you guys are dressed in your pajamas miss cheney forgot but i hope that you're dressed in your pajamas and please send us pictures all right bye